Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. LSU Odyssey Oddcast uh, on the road. Late for work edition. But it's okay because uh, it really won't matter. <laughs> um, switching situations at work. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a very good thing for us. So, um, I wanted to say, you know, with this Arkansas game coming up, LSU going to Fayetteville, trying to not have any type of hangover or any type of trap game or any of that type of, you know, hyperbole talk, you know, those interesting, uh, colorful word plays, uh, that the media is so, uh, accustomed to, maybe not really good at, but accustomed to, um, and I'm not so sure if that fits the bill here with Arkansas, especially if they're not even going to have their starting quarterback playing for them. K.J. Jefferson has a shoulder injury, throwing shoulder, and uh, this happened before the Liberty game, but supposedly there's there's some controversy, some drama in a Hogs Nation over Sam Pittman playing Jefferson against uh, against Liberty anyway while hurt and uh, they're wondering if now that's maybe exacerbated the injury and potentially will force KJ Jefferson to the sidelines for this really uh, ultimate game against LSU you know Arkansas season has not panned out the way even like a quarter 10% of what you know, analysts were saying was going to be for them this season. You had so many SEC analysts saying, oh, they might be the second best team in SEC West, or they most certainly are, or this team could beat Alabama, or this team, you know, are going to trounce LSU, or this team, you know, are going to absolutely obliterate everyone on their schedule, and they could be undefeated going into this game or that. And no one really bothered to actually look at the logistics and details of that ridiculous schedule they signed up to play. And so, you know, Arkansas have been through hell, this team. They have been beaten up, they've been humiliated, they've been embarrassed even when they've won on the road. It's been like, you know, injuries, really clocking the miles, you know, winning while not feeling good doing it. So this Arkansas team has been, you know, much like every single Arkansas team of the last, you know, a couple of years. Supremely hyped going into the season. You know, no one really looks at the roster. No one really looks if they have a receiver to, to replace Traylon Burks. And, you know, they've got a few guys with 500 plus yards and a few, you know, a couple more touchdowns than LSU's guys. More sexier stats than LSU's receivers. But can Jaden Hazelwood really adequately replace the explosive playmaking of a guy like Traylon Burks? Not so sure. The guy who really worries me for LSU, though. This passing game doesn't worry me, especially if K.J. Jefferson's throwing shoulder is giving him fits. Although, you know, this guy's a warrior. He's a big athletic dude. He could potentially battle through the pain to to do yet another start for, for have yet another start for Arkansas. But against this defensive line, that's a far more difficult task than against Liberty. I'm just going to just put it like that. Um... And KJ Jefferson's had some success against LSU the last two years, even though they've been some pretty knockdown, drag out games. But um, for me, uh, the real danger here is their running back. And I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but Raheem Sanders, Raheem Sanders, am I saying it right? I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but Sanders, their running back. I said it on our preseason uh, preview of this game when we actually predicted an LSU defeat to Arkansas um, preseason, we said that Rockneep Sanders would be unbelievable for Arkansas, and he would prove the difference, and he would uh, beat LSU down, basically. And LSU would have their second, uh, you know, actually, no, third straight loss to Arkansas, right? Or no, we beat Arkansas in 2020, so, so never mind. Our second straight loss, yeah, correct. Second straight loss to Arkansas in a row. Um, but, uh, you know, now coming close to the game, you're thinking LSU's running defense is a lot better than we expected they might be, 
and that's uh, with how Mason Smith do. Um, Mikai Wingo has been incredible up front. Jaquelin Roy is getting healthier and stronger as the season's gone on. Ojalari Perkins have just been all world on the edges, over the middle, in the flat. So, I think what we got here is going to be potentially a brutal game, knockout, dragout game for, for LSU. Early in the morning, I don't expect this to be easy for the Tigers. I don't expect this to be, you know, a blowout win. But shouldn't the L- shouldn't LSU beat this Arkansas team on paper anyway? Shouldn't this LSU team beat Arkansas after what they just accomplished? Shouldn't this LSU team outmatch Arkansas, especially when you look at Arkansas's secondary? Just go, just throw it away from Dwight McLaughlin. Don't even test him because you don't even have to. You can just throw it to the other, throw it at the other guys. Um, you know, their nickel has been absolutely savage in coverage this season. His name escapes me, but their nickel coverage has been a disaster. That's where LSU can really roast them. Look for maybe Booty to have a huge game, and uh, you know, hopefully, you get guys like Jack Besh involved. Put them in the slot. He can really roast him. You can even put Mason Taylor in the slot. Um, really get creative. Really just, okay, you can't guard anybody there. We'll just keep taking advantage of it. Uh, there's, there's a lot of reunions in this game that are coming up. But we've got a preview article coming up for this game today. And we wanted to give you just a, a little teaser of some of our thoughts. Key guy to watch out for, Raheem Sanders, if I'm saying his name right. Um... You know, Jaden Hazelwood has been pretty dynamic in the receiving game, but not as explosive as he could be or as Traylon Burks has. Um, and really, watch out for K.J. Jefferson's health. Is this the veteran starting quarterback going to even be available for Arkansas? I don't expect Pittman to give us an answer for that until, like, maybe a half hour before game time we find out or something. Like, I mean, if he's going to play this right, um, you know, even if K.J. Jefferson is fine, you really just, you want to waste some of LSU's preparation time here. That's how you, that's how you do it here. And I don't, I don't know if Arkansas really can do that here because I think LSU's game plan isn't really going to fluctuate no matter who is there, no matter who is in the backfield. LSU are coming out there to attack the quarterback, and they've got the depth to throw at Arkansas to to relentlessly do that. And I expect LSU to kind of stick with that game plan and um, dare Arkansas to pass. But like I said, we'll be having a preview article coming out today. Definitely check out our Ryan Yates piece. Check out some of our interviews. we got a, a really interesting interview with Makai Wingo on there. Uh, LSU Tiger checking in with us mid-season. Definitely check that out. Everyone have a happy Friday. LSU Odyssey.com, baby. Peace.